everyone today i'm going to teach quadratic equation so let's start so first of all what is quadratic equation let's see is this an equation do you think so no this is algebraic expression quadratic equation is a polynomial of degree 2 so if I make it equals to 0, then it becomes a standard form of quadratic equation. Let's see how. See, x highest degree is 2. So ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Where a should, a should not be equal to 0. Why? If a is equal to 0, if this term is equal to 0, then is it quadratic equation? No, because then your highest degree is 1. So always remember A should not be equal to 0 in quadratic equation. So let's start. Why should we learn quadratic equation? You know in real world many situations arise where we can use quadratic equation to solve number of problems. So if we have two friends, two very close friends, a and B. A sold a game to B worth rupees 75. Then B asked, okay A, tell me. Tell me A, what was the cost price? But A is very tricky guy. He tricked him by saying, my cost price is same as the profit percent gained by me. B, B was in awkward situation. What the hell he is saying? Same as profit percent. Then he starts recalculating in his mind. Let repeat, let's repeat the question. A sold a game to B worth rupees 75. So what information I got from this? My selling price. Yes. Selling price is rupees 75. Then what did B ask him? What was your cost price for the game? But A didn't answer. He said my cost price is same as profit percent. So my another information is cost price is equal to profit percent. You might be thinking we were studying quadratic equation now this mad lady is moving towards profit and loss. But no I am not. Watch it. What is your profit? My profit is a very simple formula or you got it in 8th standard I guess or maybe when you are smart enough to buy candies or chocolates you know what is profit and loss profit is selling price minus cost price yes but am I asking about profit no I am asking about profit percent so how do we calculate percentage very simple divided by 100 so my profit percentage is profit percent is equal to profit divided by cost price multiplied by 100 is that clear so let's substitute the values what is my profit sp minus cp but i think we don't know what is cp let's assume yes so let's take, let my CP is equal to X. What is my CP? X. So, SP minus CP. Selling price minus cost price. My selling price is 75 rupees. 75 minus X divided by X into 100. I got my profit percent in terms of X. But here is one more clue. Can you tell me? Profit percent is equal to cost price. So what is my cost price? X. It means profit percent is also equal to X. So here is the magic. How we cross multiply? X into X is X squared. Is equal to This is 1. Any number multiplied by 1 is the same number 75 minus x into 100 so when 
when we open the brackets x square is equal to 7500 minus 100x can you see x square is equal to 7500 minus 100x so children can you relate something let's see take these terms terms on the right hand side to the left hand side so x square this is negative so it will become positive on the other side x square plus 100x minus 7500 is equal to 0 now x square can you see x square what is my coefficient here a here 1 plus 100x plus bx b is 100 plus c so this is minus 7500 it can be any sign it's not hard and fast we always assume it positive is by right hand plus into minus then also it makes sense so it's perfectly fine so i got my quadratic equation yes you can solve this problem by using the quadratic equation now the point is how to solve this wicked quadratic equation. I'll tell you there are two methods. Let's recall our old classes. Let's recall our 8th standard factorization. There are two methods to solve the quadratic equation. One is factorization. And the other is completing the squares so I have two methods to solve the equation I'll start with completing the squares squares completing the squares in this we have two kind of formulas x plus a whole square x minus a whole square i hope you know that very well so let's start i write the, write this equation over here x square plus 100x minus 7500 equals to 0 let's take this called a term term without x on the right hand side leave here some space can you see here x square plus 100 x plus something if I do any whole number then I can make x plus a whole square what is my formula for x plus a whole square x square plus 2a x plus a square yes I have my x square. Let's take this term as 2ax. Let's equate it here. 2ax equals to 100x. Yes, xx got cancelled. a is equal to 100 by 2. So a is 50. But here I want a square. What is the a square? 20. 500. If I am adding a square here, it's mandatory to add the same term on the other side. So, plus a square. x square plus 100x. What is my a square? 2500. Equals to 7500 plus 2500. So, can you see 2500 is 50 square? Can I write it as x plus 50 whole square? a is 50 x plus a whole square x square plus 2ax plus a square 2500. So, I am able to complete my squares. 
I am completing my squares. Yes, it fulfills the condition because I am adding a square on the both sides. So seventy-five hundred plus twenty-five hundred. How many zeros? Ten thousand. When I remove this square, what is the square root of ten thousand? It is always plus minus. Do remember, whenever you remove the square, it becomes square root on the other side. It is always plus and minus. So. I got x plus fifty is equal to plus minus hundred. So I I have two answers. X plus fifty equals to plus hundred, and x plus fifty is equal to minus hundred. Let's solve it. X is equal to hundred minus fifty. So x is equal to fifty. Yes. On the other side, I got x is equal to minus hundred. Taking this plus fifty on the other side, it became minus fifty. So x is equal to minus one fifty. So we are sensible enough. Money cannot be negative. You can't get cost prices minus one fifty. So ignore this one. What is my cost price? Fifty rupees. So. My x is fifty, so it means my cost price is fifty, and my profit percent is also fifty. You want to verify? Yes. If I substitute here in profit percentage, seventy-five minus fifty upon Fifty into hundred, I got twenty-five by fifty into hundred. So I got fifty. Yes, my answer is absolutely correct. I hope you got it. It's not a rocket science. It's very simple how to solve quadratic equation if you use your brains and you pay little attention how to complete the squares. I hope you like my video. If you like it please subscribe and do leave your comment if you want any other topic to be covered do mention thank you so much